Hello everybody, David Heads coming here, and welcome back to Doctor Who, Season 4, Episode 10, The Power of the Daleks, Part 2. Last time when we left off, the second Doctor, freshly regenerated, Polly and Ben, have landed on a strange new planet with mercury deposits everywhere, and they were taken in to this sort of facility uh, with the Doctor taking the identity of the Examiner from Earth. Uh, who he saw get shot and killed right in front of him, although he did not see his attacker. Um, there are scientists, or there is a scientist on board that is studying a capsule, and the doctor and him get it open, and then the doctor's like, nah, let's investigate this later. So he sneaks out later at night to investigate it with Polly and Ben, and he finds out that it is filled with Daleks, two of them, but one of them is missing. And that's where we left off, and let's continue this adventure right now. Once again, we are using the, um, the still shots instead of the animation because the animation bothers me. It's just me, but, but it bothers me, and so we're not going to use it because I said so. Oh, for today's snacks, I have some chocolates. And my, my jelly babies are back. So, it's time for some snacking. Power of the Daleks! Finally, you can see it. Because it's not white on white. By David Whittaker. <laughs> I'm so cool. Dr. Rock! It's like a giant. <laughs> see, Slot? I'm not gonna tell you what that, what that looked like. Did you see it? Quickly, man, quickly. What was it? Smart pen. Uh oh. This is the scientist man, I believe. Can you answer me? It was a sort of disembodied hand, a sort of claw. It was horrible. Slug. Oh yes, this is blind, so I have no idea what's happening. Right, there were three Daleks. Did you know what it was? Good job, Ben. Good thinking, good thinking. It's a pretty maniacal photo right there, Doc. What does that mean you think he's been inside? Perhaps he's been experimenting on the Daleks. Oh. But, but they're things. I, I, I mean, they're dead. They must be. This light is dead now, but watch. You mean these things just need power? No. Lesterson's a fanatic. The governor's jealous of his own position. What does that suggest to you? Don't know. Haven't thought about it. <laughs> that all is not well with this colony. Add to that one Dalek. Oh, blimey, don't mark make mountains, don't you? One Dalek. Yes. All that is needed to wipe out this entire colony. That's scary. Uh oh. They had never even seen Daleks in action before, so. Examine that. It seems Ben and Polly trust them as the doctor now, though. Especially Ben. He distrusted him the most last episode. Very good, don't you ever knock before you enter a room? I'm sorry if I disturbed you. I was expecting to find the examiner here, not you, Quinn. Well, he's not here. Oh, I'll probably want to start snooping under the bed, so I'll leave you to it. One moment. Don't try your luck with me, Bregel. On the contrary, I'm trying to avoid trouble. The governor gave express instructions that you were not to contact the examiner. I find you here. I'm sure you can offer some suitable explanation. I can, but not to you. Before you go... <coughs> Uh-oh. Don't ever try to block my way again. God! Well, that guy's up to no The good. examiner is missing. He must be found immediately. So that wasn't the doctor I saw earlier. Not, well, you know what I mean, the scientist. 
course, this is the doctor. Real doctor. Oh, you mean the real doctor? Yeah, now I've seen that claw thing. Well, who want to shake hands with it? Let's put it that way. Doctor, look, if they're that dangerous, what are you going to do about it? All right, maybe the bed's not so trustful as I thought it was. Would Lesterson listen? Lesterson listen. Lesterson listen. Lesterson listen. Exercises the tongue. Try it. Lesterson listen. <laughs> They think you're the examiner. Order them to destroy the Daleks. What chuck you wait about? Let's just listen, 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 let's just what was the first thing you noticed when you looked inside that capsule? Well, the, the, the Daleks. You were astounded? Yes. Amazed? Yes. You didn't even give them a glance. Why? Because you'd been in there and seen them. Where is the third Dalek? He's I don't know what you're talking about. You opened up the capsule without permission. You found the inner con compartment containing three Daleks. You took one of them away and you hid it. Hid it? it? What, what nonsense! May I ask what all this is about? We opened an inner compartment in the capsule and Lesterson had already been in there. I don't deny that. And he's nicked a Dalek. Dalek? It's the name the examiner has given to two metal creations that I've discovered inside the capsule. Yeah, and they're dangerous, evil. Lumps of metal. Quite inactive. That's what you think, mate. If you'd seen... <laughs> I consider it my duty as a scientist to, to examine and very angry investigate opinion. these objects. Now, please, all of you, keep out of my laboratory. Keep your hands off my experiments. These lumps of metal, Daleks, I want them broken up or melted down. Up or down, I don't care which, but destroyed. I refuse to allow it. I'm an Earth examiner. I demand it. You're exceeding your authority. Perhaps we should ask the governor about that. I wish to see him immediately. That might be difficult, but not impossible. Ben, Bonnie. He's not taking any of this shit. Love it. Sorry, I'm getting all these people confused. They all look the same to me. I don't know. Can I get me confused and I'm you sorry? You go and get Jandy and then come back here. We haven't, haven't got any time to waste. Now go on then, quickly, quickly. I swear there's so many cobwebs in the um, the chamber since he's been wandering around in there stealing you Daleks. Won't stop me experimenting. There must be some way to bring you back to life, and I'm going to find it. Haven't you read the book Frankenstein? This is in the future, so right? I mean, it's available. Answer, which is why I have a badge which says so. Lesterson <laughs> watches over his ideas like a mother hen. If there was a bomb under this floor, time to go off in five minutes, would you ask my permission before you ripped up the floorboards? Ah, oh, fruit! Examiner. Thank you. <laughs> it's up to you, of course, but I'd advise a little discretion in your investigations. It's not a very good time just now. What does that mean? Thank you. With all these disturbances... Disturbances? Yes, um, minor acts of sabotage. Rebel Creek, secret newspapers, nothing important, you understand, but it keeps the governor busy. I've no doubt he'll tell you all about it himself when I arrange your meeting with him. Well, when will that be? Uh, he's going on this a tour of the perimeter here. of the colony. I'll, I'll find out if he can see you before he goes. Thank you. I'm just trying to click it in <laughs> before the story's end. <laughs> You know, it's little things like this that make it difficult to believe that you're the doctor. The oh, other one. Ben, I mean, get over it. One. Oh, nuts, you know what I mean. Nuts, yes, certainly. Here we are. Crackers. <laughs> you, my old China, are an out-and-out -out phony. China? <clears throat> yes. I went there once, I believe. Met Marco Polo. No, not yep. China. China, China and plate, mate, friend. Yes, Marco Polo, a friend. I believe he was. Oh, he was I was confused to be speaking well. Cockney. <laughs> Polly doesn't care what Ben says. She she thinks he's the doctor. She's 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 smart. Go Polly. It's a
Uh oh. Well, well, a touch of the bugs. Microphones. Someone's been listening to what we were saying. Yeah, so that's why you were messing about and talking nonsense. I never talk nonsense. <laughs> Hardly never. Well, they certainly believe in making us at home, don't they? At first, I, I thought there might be more than one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet old Charlie Bragan did it. Charlie? Well, Fred wouldn't sue, would it? If he did do it, do you think it was his own idea? I mean, he could have been under orders. Mm, from the governor? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Doctor? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Let's, let's consider this button for a moment. It's the only clue we've got to the murder of the examiner, the, the real examiner. Mm. And who asked for him to come? Mm, well, Lester's some crackers about that capsule. He wouldn't want anyone nosing about. Yeah. Bregan said the governor's been having trouble. Nah, no, rule him out. Governor's all the same. He wouldn't ask for help. If he sent a word, it would look as if he couldn't do the job properly. Yes. Oh, well, I vote we go back to the TARDIS. I've had enough of this dump. Have you? <laughs> What about the Daleks? Well, they're dead. Well, what about that thing we saw in the capsule? That was alive, all right. Yeah, well, can't explain that. I can. And that's why we have to stay. Ugly looking Bruce. It's ominous. Yeah, what do you want to muck about with him for? Leave well alone, that's what I say. You're a fine one to be a research assistant. Leave well alone. There'll be no progress in this planet with people like you around. We're doing all right as we are. Oh, we were until the old lot came along stirring the things up. You won't get away with it, you know. The governor knows all about you rebels. He smashes oh. the lot of you when he's ready. Governor? Yeah, the governor. He couldn't smash me. Will you be quiet? Where do you both think you are? This is a scientific laboratory. Can't they keep your politics out of it? Come on, Reds, no man, get on with it. We haven't got all day. We've got to get this working before the examiner stops us. He's got some phobia about these, these Daleks. I know the misery they cause, the destruction. But there's something else more terrible. Something I can only half remember. Doctor, what was it? Well? Where is the governor? What did he say? He sends his apologies, examiner. He can't see you tonight, but he hopes to see you first thing in the morning. Well, am I not wait that long, Chuck? Uh, Bregan. It will have to. Excuse me. Where are you going? To see the governor, of course. I'm afraid that's not possible. Once his door is closed, no one, not even you, examiner, is allowed into his room. I love the hat. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Until the morning, then. What happens now? I shall radio Earth. Governor or not, hence we'll have to listen to them. I'll get Earth to back me. Mm. It's funny. I could have sworn. You stay here, I shall be long. Something very bad's gonna happen. Something very bad. <laughs> Connecting now. That was weird. All connections responding. That was a weird Not laugh. What was that for? <laughs> Are you sure? There's nothing wrong here. Well, let's see. Really, if you can't trust me to read a dial. Be quiet. All right, we'll try again. This time we'll take it up to 3.24. Got that, Jasmine? 3.24. It's moving. I'm getting flashback to the like, first dial like new. Number one there. attachment with sucker stick responding. Number two attachment not moving. Number three attachment with lens responding. Watch these meters Still responding. responding. Now, it's reasonable to assume that this sucker stick acts like some kind of a hand. Ah! Shinch. All right, don't be alarmed. Oh. We're going to introduce <laughs> temporary power, which would have to be able to open it up before we could... Shouldn't you see what the things do before activating them? I mean... Yeah. Now, I you know. think what this short, stubby arm is for. Could the lens attachment be an arm? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Now, it's quite possible that this uh, Dalek... Now, there must be some kind of directing influence. 
it may even be a simplified brain. Positronic, I shouldn't wonder. And, oh, if only we could open it up. Now what? Everything functioning here. Yes, well, perhaps the power is leaking away somewhere. We'll, we'll try again. Mm -hmm. These people are stupid. <laughs> like, they may be scientists, but they're dumb. Like, just look at the individual parts and see what they do before activating them. Like, that's a gun. A little stubby arm. It's a gun. Oh, he's dead. Look at the ice stick! It's watching us! It's it was! I saw it! You can't use the phrase, watching us. Have us believing that the thing has intelligence next. Now get on with your work, man! It's just... They're so focused that they don't see anything around them. They have tunnel vision. It's like everything around them is, is invisible except what's right in front. And it's stupid and it's gonna cause the doctor to have to save everyone, you know, as usual. I mean, just give the man a break, alright? I mean, he just changed every cell in his body. He look, he's looking pretty scary right now, to be honest. Quinn? You again. What do you want? I found the operator unconscious. And so did I. I was just looking at him when I heard someone move. It must have been you. And those? I picked them up. What is all this? The cables have been cut. What? But this is serious. Yes, seriously cut. Just our own communications. We're cut off from Earth as well. The only people that will want to do that are the rebels. If those muscle boys of yours had any brains, they'd stop things like this. Reagan, I was attacked just after I landed. This is a small souvenir I collected. This button belongs to you, doesn't it? Well, yes. And you say you picked these up. I suggest that you were sabotaging the communications. That's a lie. Having first attacked one of the engineers. I detained the governor on evidence like that. I hope you're not thinking of detaining me, Bregan. I have no option. I could hardly let you run around loose after this, could I? All right, guards. I warn on. you, Bregan. All right, you win this round, Bregan. We'll see what it looks like in front of the governor. <laughs> the governor will want an inquiry. I think Bregan's right. May I ask what you are doing here? Or the governor, because... The... Right. It's like the evil empire versus the rebels. But the question is, what's the evil empire doing? Besides this stupid shit. Connecting <laughs> now. All connections responding. Excellent. It's working! Excellent. Film it, film it now, Resna. And note the readings, Jenny. Oh. I'll tell you, it's intelligent. It's watching me, Lester. It's weighing me up. I can sense it. Don't be a fool. I don't like it, I tell you. We don't know what these things can do. No, and we never shall know, shall we, unless we take film of every reaction. Now get on with your work, man. T he's blind. Maybe he's smart, but he's dumb. Oh. That's what you get. I mean, what does that say? <laughs> this is 
stupid recorder. You've got to defend Quinn. Yeah, I know. He's innocent until he's proved guilty, but he is guilty. He's the deputy governor. So what? I had Ed Master once who got nicked for not paying his bus fare. And then there's the motive. Don't forget the motive. Like what, for instance? Well, he's the deputy governor, right? Maybe he wants to be governor. Oh, that's ridiculous. Well, the jacket button wasn't. And he was caught red-handed in the communications room with a pair of pliers. And don't tell me he was plucking his eyebrows Look, either. there are some people you know are all right. You just know by looking at them. Morning. The inquiry a very interesting you, dynamic. I feel like they counter each other very well. Time? Yes, yes, I think so. Counter and compliment. Quite excited. So you're sure it's a wonderful achievement? Yes. We just That's shot earlier. And is that we don't know the full scope of this experiment. Who knows where we may go from here? Who knows what this Dalek may do? It's harmless now. Yes, yes, yes. I've, I've removed. The... Oh. Oh shit! The arm's missing. Reno, have you been to see him today? Yes. Yes, he, um, he's had medical attention. He's going to be all right. Oh, good. No one must find out about this accident. It might give the examiner just the excuse they want, and he could stop the whole project. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 you're right. See, he's taking his glasses off, and it's confusing me. <laughs> yes. That's the problem Let's go here. And surprise them. I'm falling for the Clark Kent disguise. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't see you earlier, Examiner. Gosh, dear. Peter Don. Sorry for the. the oh, Quinn. Sorry. I don't like this any more than you do. What have you been up to? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, what about Bregan's report <laughs> then? These are facts, Quinn. Now, what have you got to say about it? Does the engineer say I hit him? How could he if he was hit from behind? And it's only circumstantial evidence. The examiner was also attacked in the Mercury Swamp. We have a button from your jacket found in the examiner's hand. I can't explain that. I'm sure you can't. Examiner, you seem to be in two minds. Yeah, and two bodies. You mentioned <laughs> a breaker. That was a dead. machines of Lesterson's, uh, what do you call them? I call them what they are, Daleks. Oh, yes, 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 Daleks. You say they could be a motive for destroying our communications. I do. Lesterson, this is a special inquiry. Now, please, this I... won't wait. You won't be disappointed. You heard what I said, Lester. Governor, I've just completed a, an experiment which could revolutionize the whole colony. Bear with me. Lester, what have you done? What have you done? I'll show you. Jamie? No. That's just so angry. He's like, oh, I'll show you. <laughs> totally unaware. Moreover, it responds to orders. Turn around. Move that chair. Oh, I was afraid I was going to pick it up. I was going to see. Just think what this could do for our, our mind program. Our processing, packaging, dozens of labor jobs. They're not our C cars. You can supply the end to all this colony's problems. Yes, it will end the colony's problems because it will end the colony. I am your servant. What? It, it spoke. Jeff, did you hear? It, it, it could actually talk. Do many things less, isn't it? But the thing it does most efficiently is exterminate I human beings. Servant. It destroys them. I without am mercy, your without conscience. I it destroys am your them utterly. Completely. I am your it destroys servant. them. I am your servant. I am oh, shit, man. 
Oh, that's so good! That's so good! Oh, okay, Quinn. Bragan, I know who you are. Lesterson, you're the stupid scientist. Janley, the girl. <laughs> Hensel, I'm gonna assume the other guy. Don't know who any of you are. The Daleks were created by Terry Nation. That was a weird choice, I did not anticipate. <laughs> Whatever. Directed by Christopher Barry. Oh, that was so good. I had a, towards the end, I had a sneaking suspicion that this was the Dalek story with the Daleks being I am no servants because they referenced that in um in New Who with the Churchill episode. I don't remember this title though. But um Yeah, oh my god, I'm so excited to see where this goes. It's basically the Daleks voice versus the do the doctor's voice. Um half his companions don't even believe he's a doctor still. Oh, it's exciting. There's a rebel going on. It's nuts. This is nuts. This is awesome. This is so good. All right. Um, see you all next time for part three of this story. Um, David Tenskapane saying goodbye. Alonzi!